Before buying a new garage door opener, measure your garage door height. It is from the ground to this top, usually 7 or 8 feet. This is an example. If 8 feet, you need to buy an extension. This is the new garage door opener. It is the same brand, just like the old one. That way, same old part can be reused. Those are all the parts, also some documents. First, assemble the rail. Then insert the carriage. Last, put all rail section in. Insert this thing into last rail section and place rail strap onto the rail. Belt has two ends, one gold, one silver. Install belt by inserting gold end through door end of the rail. Find this piece turnbuckle. It is marked as door on one end. Connect the door end with gold end. Other end with silver. Tighten both end by hand. Use wrench if needed. Next, find those screws. Use those to attach rail onto the motor. Install this belt retainer as well. Before installation, test the motor. Plug it in. Hold up or down until blue flash and then press again. It shall move. Hold the whole thing and see if this fix the old fixture. Unfortunately, it does not fit. The fixture was too far away from the door, and the reason is because the new motor is much shorter than the old one. Here is a comparison. Both ends were aligned. Now, this is the new motor. It's about several inch short. The old fixture was attached to the very last of this old motor, which is here. There is no way this new motor can be used without moving the fixture. Also, the new mounting straps were much thinner and less holes, which is very inconvenient. So need to move the mounting fixture toward door about 6 inches, and it has to be mounted on the stud. This ceiling is easy to find stud. Those white dots are stud locations. Each stud is perpendicular to the door. You can also use a magnet to see where it can be attached onto the ceiling. That means there is a nail, and usually it is nailed on the stud. Take off the old mounting fixture. Drill a pilot hole and then tighten it with screw. If your ladder is not tall enough, use a box. Put the motor on the box. Use your eyes and lever to make sure everything is aligned. Then install the motor onto the mounting fixture, plug it and test it. You might able to use the old door arm, but in my case, I have to replace it because for no reason, the same company decided to change the pin size. Take it out and assemble the new one just like the old one. Attach the door arm to the carriage. If needed, attach another mounting strap to enforce the mounting fixture. Now to wire the door sensor and the wall switches. Since this is also a genie, so I decided to try it off if the old one still works. Wire everything like this. 1-2 is for door sensor. 3-4 is for wall switch. And it looks like the door sensor is working, so no need to replace with a new one. But if you like, you can replace those with new ones, and it should be easy since all the wiring are already existing. Put on the plastic cover, install the release rod.
Lastly, to program the remote, long press the reset button until light quick flash and then Double press the remote and then single press the remote, then you are done.